Hello there, time to check Svido Truppe's Gideon, the famous Kwong Beetle. I think they could be already in the pupa stage. Let's see whether we have to help them so that if the pupal chambers collapse, they can still live if it turns, uh, if we put them in these uh, peat pots. I already found some. If you go to the German play, you will see that. 15th of September, there were L3, so that's now four months, around four months, so they should be ready, ready and have pupated. Let's see how we find them. In the German playlist you will also see that um, I found two pupas inside of a wood block. Now oh, that's interesting to see and let's see whether we find the same thing here too. Um, seems to be kind of a carved out part of this wood block too, but I don't see anything here like a pupa. Oh, let's go a little bit more to the bottom of the box and have a look here. Also here in the box itself, I can't see anything now, but let's see whether something is hidden inside here. Oh yeah, oh look, it's a little small male, already a close but not yet quite finished because the elytras are not well formed. So I will have to place him in this kind of a artificial cell just to see whether he can finish his closure process in here. Oh, look here, this is very nice to see. It's a Gideon and his purple chamber here. It's a nice view just to see. It has made this egg-shaped uh, purple chamber here. Also in the very soft, in the very soft uh, wood material here. Also shredded some of the material to, to fill uh, the purple chamber, so now we will take him out here also. Seems to be already in a good uh, stage also for eclosion. Look at this nice chamber that the lorry built here. Let's see whether we find some more. So, now we have to go carefully through the substrate because it seems that they have already pupated most of them now. And also I have to bring all my boxes with the uh, Gideon Beetle now out to check for them because if they are just um, inside the there seems to be a skin of a video as well as see here. Here look, this is typical here. There are two purple chambers here that you can see. One is here and one is here. And they are completely they are built in pairs here. If we clean them you can see the shape a little bit better. Yeah. Also, I see the skin of the other, of the other male. So let's we will see this uh, in detail now because this is an interesting uh, detail to see that you cannot see every day. Xylotrupes uh, Gideon Sumatrensis two purple chambers. Um, and now I have to take this uh, also to a new place here. Well, so and now we will 
have a look under the microscope. First I would like to open uh, this cell here. So you see on the knees in this oval shaped chamber we find the first little nail, not a big one, but looks nice has uh, molded to to the stage of a poop ball I would say some days ago it's uh, nice to see and also of course I will keep it from now on in an artificial uh, cell like this and with all the others that I already have, I place them as soon as I secure them with a piece of tape so that they don't escape here from the poop chambers before they are really uh, they are placed in a in a box like that. And now we open the second of these poopoo -poo chambers here seems to be a little bit longer than the other one from the shape so probably could be this also a little bit bigger sometimes of course they can dig down or oh, I still think there must be something down here now well, let's see try to find something not yet. Oh, here. It must be in on the side of this block here. So, this is the poop chamber here. It's like with the old Egyptians. <laughs> they, they built some tunnels and uh, you find them at the end of the tunnels, the sacred rooms look. But this is not yet a pupa. This is a pre pupa of Chiotupe Gideon, but it's also a nice picture to show you how they create their pupa chambers and how they uh, work inside this pupa chamber. So this one I don't disturb, I just close it again and we'll keep it like this until uh, pupation and so we go next step now we already found four of them should be probably find some more here if we are lucky we will find some more pupas here look so it's good to be careful when digging through the substrate, it's a living pupa, and of course, we will also present this one of the famous feed pots. <laughs> now, that's another one, now it's number five. Only one left. Let's see whether we find it, or we, or we see traces of it, kind of. Uh, that capsule, that's the thing that lasts very long, even if they have died, you can see very good the head capsules of these animals that have died. So I went carefully through the substrate, I didn't see anything more so. I just bring all the material back to the original box and let's have a second look at the wood pieces, whether we forgot something in here, no, here not. Also not here, I think. You would see it from outside. 
liked. Uh, we've seen it before. So that's it for the moment. I have to go through all the boxes with Gideon and uh, probably I'll show the result later. Thanks for watching.